Using a song in a language class isn't always about focusing on the grammar and vocabulary in the lyrics. Here's a fun activity using the song Dance Monkey to elicit some vocabulary around body and movement. Hi, I'm Vicky Boss, teacher, professional developer, and expert body percussionist. Hmm. This body percussion activity aims to elicit and practice the following language. First of all, verbs of movement and making music with your body, for example, clap, click, etc. Parts of the body, so hands, feet, legs, arms. Other language associated with moving your body, such as right and left. And la process language, step one, step two, first, next, at the same time, and so on. I've pitched this lesson at, I guess, an elementary pre-intermediate level, but it really could be done at any level, depending on the purpose in your class. You don't have to focus so much on the language of uh, body parts, for example. If you did it with a higher level class, you could focus more on the process language. Also, the song that I'm going to do is in English, but you really could do any language with this activity because the principle is really the same. So let's get into it. I'm using this video by Vicky Sur, shout out to the Vickies, because it's simple yet still quite challenging for people who are new to body percussion, uh, like me. By the way, if you are teaching Spanish or music, check out Vicky Sur's channel. I'll put the link in the description below. She's actually got a paso a paso, a step-by-step -step instructional video for how to do this particular body percussion routine that could be quite useful for you. So step one of my activity is I play the video for the class and get them to attempt to copy the movements. Let's have a look at some of it. So you can see it's nice and easy. Well, to start off with anyway. Step two, hand out the worksheet. I've put a link to my website and the free activities page in the description below. On the worksheet, it's just an opportunity to brainstorm some vocabulary that we're going to need to talk about this routine. So you can see that I've got here a box for vocabulary about body parts, a box for vocabulary about verbs, and a box for other language that we might need to talk about this particular routine. Then I would get the students to watch the video again and using the process language, describe what's happening in the video, what you need to do to tell somebody how to do this routine. So things like, you know, first clap your hands to the beat, that sort of thing. So this is where they use the language that we've elicited that's in those boxes uh, to describe the process of how to do the body percussion. To do this, I would probably give the students um, the, the link or uh, on their own devices or get them to take over watching the video, put one of the students in charge of playing it for the whole class so that they can watch it again and again as many times as they need to, to just talk through the process of what's happening. I wouldn't get them to write it down at this stage. You can perhaps save that for a homework or a project task later. Then as an optional extra, I would get them to create their own body percussion routine for part of this song or even part of another song if you like. Uh, do it in pairs, then teach another pair how to do their routine. See if they can teach the other pair using words only without showing the movements and see if the other pair understands them. So that's the activity. Fun, productive and creative. Don't forget to go to my website to download the worksheet. Have a look around while you're there and have a look at some of the other free activities that I have. And if you're interested, there's a full one hour dance monkey lesson on the lesson packs page. So check that out as well. Remember to subscribe to Teaching in Harmony for lots more tips, activities, and lessons. See you next time. Bye.